And we're back. They both slept, and I also gave Malcolm a makeover overnight. I didn't change his hair or anything like that. I just changed all his clothes. So he's wearing all futuristic for any outfits that were futuristic. She's taking a futuristic shower here. We had this um, in the big mansion that we had originally in... Um, what was that original town we moved into? <laughs> My brain. Bridgeport. There we go. <laughs> Um, all right, so we're going to send her out to get the lottery tickets if we can. I just had him check the weather just to have him do something on the computer. He's actually going to go out and go fishing. I saw that there's a fishing spot out here. So I'm sending him out to go fishing just to give him something to do. His needs are all good. So for her, can we, if we go to town hall now, can we get those lottery ticket numbers? I think it's here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, check lotto records. So we're going to head over there. Let's see if she takes her car or her jetpack. She'll probably take her car. I didn't tell her. Oh yeah, I think you have to specifically tell them to fly somewhere if you want them to fly there. That's alright. Are you going to take your car? Boop. There we go. Bye hubby. There are two other futures that you can cause to happen. One's a dystopian future, one's a, a utopian future. I've never done that. I've seen it in other people's Let's Plays. It is pretty cool how you do it. You have to go back to regular time and convince different sims to do different things and stuff like that. So that could be another Let's Play that I do. I haven't ever explored this expansion pack fully, so that could be a, a, a Let's Play I do in the future and into the future, in the future. <laughs> Alright, so we're exploring these records. Then when we leave here, so when she goes home, she'll be able to play the lottery, and I think there's a, you either are guaranteed to win, or there's a really good chance of winning. Let's see, this is what? What is this building? Oh, that's the library. We don't care about that. What else can we do? Oh, we do need to go over and have a synthesized drink at the cafeteria, which is here, I believe. Pretty sure. Alright. I should have her fly there. Okay, so she wasn't able to find it, so we'll come back over and try again. So it's not guaranteed that you're going to find it. different buildings for sure. Alright, so we're going to go to this lot, which is really cool. And also, um, something you can do here is you can order, you can do, make your own self a synthesized drink, but she needs to order a synthesized drink, so I think you sit. Yeah. Order... If you order your favorite meal, they automatically bring it to you. How do you order a drink, though? At the cafe this, is this a cafeteria? I don't even know. Or maybe we need to go inside? That's the gallery. Okay, the imports gallery. Okay, maybe this isn't where we're supposed to be. Hold on. Cafeteria. Maybe this is the place I'm thinking of. Okay, order, oh, order a synthesized drink at the cafeteria. Okay, so that's what we need to do. We need to, you click on these little things here, order a synthesized drink. Yeah, I was thinking about the bar. But if you sit at one of the tables, you can order actual food. I love these modern bar stools, too. I think they're so cool. They don't look very comfortable, though. <laughs> and this um, plum bot, what he's doing is he's actually sucking the power from this. So they can regenerate themselves that way, but it can cause your um, things to break down. They, there are, there is a, um, okay, read the inscription on a legacy statue, okay. So there are, there is a different musical instrument that got tr introduced, it's the laser rhythmicon. Okay. 
Okay, synthesized drinks are amazing, aren't they? To think, Sims in the past had to make their own. What schmucks. Okay, yeah, that wow, that's really taking her bladder down. Is there even a restroom on this lot? No. It doesn't look like it. It's pretty cool, though. And there's also a food synthesizer if you're hungry. Uh, let's have her, while we're here, go ahead and order breakfast. Synthesized baguette. Now he's repairing himself. <laughs> he's pretty cute. T-O-B-3. Toby, maybe? I should probably give her a makeover too and put her in futuristic clothes. I think I'll do that between episodes. Oh, there's somebody riding on a hoverboard. Sort of like uh, the movie Into the Future. <laughs> I think we can buy one. Alright, are they going to come take our order? Okay, he goes switching to level 2. I don't want him to... Oh, he's getting hot. Alright, you can go do whatever you want. You're getting warm. I don't want you to... Okay, Wings of Thunder. Show off your jetpack flying skills to three sims. Okay, we could do that. After we eat. And you can make your sim bots look so, so many different ways. There's a lot of customization you can do. Mmm, is that delicious or what? Oh, her bladder went back up. That was... Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at him. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's showing us a picture of a futuristic potty chair. That's pretty funny. Alright, so we want to go look at a statue, and the statues are over in here, I believe. Legacy Park, yeah. Visit Le Legacy Park. So you can, um, from what I understand and what I've seen in other people's Let's Plays, you can, there's certain things you can do to get your sim to have a statue in Legacy Park. I haven't played with that, obviously, so uh, we'll see them when we get over here. But it's just, it's a fun thing that they added to the game to give your sim more goals to try to reach, so. Alright, so let's see which statues are here. Let's see, this one is Pioneer of Plumbotics, Bridget Chamberlain. Viewed that. Oh, read the inscription is what it wanted us to do. Let's see who else is over here. We have Lustrous Entertainer. That's for playing that musical instrument. This one is oh, something to do with Somalians. Renowned philanthropist, so I'll probably have to give money to something or other. Okay. With some incredible engineering skill, Bridget Chamberlain created the world's first advanced bot. Gifting it with sentience secured a burnished legacy in modern plumbotics. And this one is the trendsetter. Okay. Inspect the mysterious door in the wasteland. Oh, okay, we'll do that. Who knows, you might join them today. So I'm glad to see your reverence for the legacy statues. Who knows, you might join them someday. What is this one? The timekeeper. Okay, so the door that it's talking about, if I remember right, there's an area called the Wasteland, which this area, how, see how it's all green and everything? Then you come out here, and it's like there's nothing out here. So there's a mysterious door. That's a crash site. We probably should go potty before we head out here. Derelict Beach. I think you could buy house property out here too. Barren Wasteland. But there's a door somewhere out here. Alright, but you know what? Let's um, go home real quick and we'll use the potty. And then we'll head out. Here we got some futuristic chests. Reminds me of Star Trek. <laughs> Oh, you know what? No, no, wait, wait. I'm going to tell her to fly home. Where is our home? Here it is. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to tell her to fly here. 
Okay. Okay, fly here. All right, so let's follow her. It's really fast when they do it. Hopefully she won't crash and die. <laughs> and boom. So if you have Into the Future and you have World Adventures, I recommend getting this jetpack and then going to do World Adventures and it'll save you a lot of running around town. I haven't done it myself, but somebody else mentioned that in a Let's Play and I was like, that's genius. Why didn't I think about that? So just a little hint there. All right, let's come up here and use the potty. And then we'll go explore that door. We'll just let Hubby do whatever he wants to do. He's just here for woohoo purposes mainly. <laughs> oh, and we can magically upgrade it. Let's do that. To unbreakable. Why not? We might as well work on our magic while we're here. Because we still, we are on level 9 from what I remember. We need to get to level 10 so we can bring our daughter Janie back. That would be cool if we could live here with Janie. If Janie could come to the future. I still feel really bad about her dying. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a teenager die in The Sims 3. I did. I don't know if I told you guys this. I think I did. I told you this story about how I accidentally killed my daughter when I first started playing the game. But I'll tell you again even if I have told you. So when I first got Sims 2, I didn't know that you could die from electrocution. So I had made a house with myself and my two daughters. And my two daughters were in like late elementary school, early junior high. So they were like, oh, probably, oh gosh, eight and 10, I would say was, would be their age. So I had, I was playing and they were watching me and I made a house and I put the two of us in it. And then our dishwasher broke. So I told my older daughter, Sim, to go fish the di fi fix the dishwasher, not knowing she could die from electrocution. And she died, and to this day, she's still mad about that, and my younger daughter still, if we bring this subject up, my older daughter gets mad, and my younger daughter laughs her head off, because I didn't know you could exit the game without saving, you know, and so my poor sim daughter was dead, so, anyway, that I think was the last young person I had die in the game, which was, gosh, like, eight to ten years ago so I think having a, a, a teen die in the game is pretty traumatic for me can we upgrade this no can we upgrade this yeah make that unbreakable too uh, I don't know if you can hire a maid here I'm assuming that you can all right while she's doing that we'll go out and find this door that they're talking about let's see is it down here there's some different plants that grow in this world. Why am I having trouble finding this door? I might have to find it off camera and then... I don't, I don't see anything. I think it's round looking from what I remember. Maybe I'm just not going far enough? Hmm. Okay, what is this? Oh, these are some of our descendants. That's pretty cool. We might meet them in the future. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Okay, I'm not seeing it, so maybe I just need to find it off camera and come back. All right, there are other things that we could be doing. Let's go back over. Oh, is she in the pool? Let's go watch her in the pool. Um, we could go back over in a minute and try to get the lottery records again. Or we could send our husband. Malcolm? Why don't you go potty? Oh, is he going to eat? Oh no, he's going to look at himself in the mirror. Yep. Well, you're a derp. <laughs> you are a derp young man. But he definitely is wearing the futuristic stuff. I need to get him to start working out. Because he's sort of a little on the chubby side. Oh, look, she's sitting in the and reading. That's so cool. So in the future, are they going to even have paper books? That's pretty cool. Or should you be reading on your multi-tab? Uh, do we even have a TV? Oh, wait, we do have a TV upstairs. The TV 
is actually this funny looking thing here. Uh, let's work out to cardio. You're only going to work out for a little bit and then you're going to be too tired. Yeah, he put that in his... So you could take these back home with you and use them even in the past, which is pretty cool. Let's work out until... Whoops. Was that a voice activated TV? I missed it. So we have hologram TV. That's pretty darn cool. The future is now, people. All right. Oh, she's playing with magic. We do really need to still work on her magic because we cannot end this Let's Play. I was thinking about going to 50 episodes, but we can't end the Let's Play. I don't care if it's 100 episodes. We cannot end it until we have brought Janie back and at least lived with her for a while. So, um, all right, let's go to try to get the lottery record things again. Oh, this is where you could change your name. I'm going to have him come over and do it. Check lotto records. When he gets done taking a nap. Actually, how tired are you? I'm going to interrupt him. I'm going to send him over here. Change his name. I thought you could do that at the other town hall, but I could be just confused. So yeah, I want him to change his name to be... Um, and I'll have her change hers also, because I want her to be a land grab now. So he met some of his descendants. I don't think she has. When did she meet all these people? Do you just automatically know them? Okay, that's his first name, Landgrab. I think you spell it L-A-N-D-G-R-A-A-B. Pretty sure. I'm going to copy that because we're going to have her change her last name also. I think that's how it's spelled. Oh yeah, these are the people that are back at home. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what in the world are you doing, dude? Yeah, why don't you go home and go to bed? No, don't sleep on a park bench. Go home. Silly. Okay, is she headed over here? Okay, yeah. Let's have her change her name also. There we go. Okay, yes, she was able to win up some lotto numbers from the present, head back to the present, and purchase a lotto ticket to increase your chance to win. So I guess it's not guaranteed. There we go. Alright, so we changed our name to Landgrab. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> if not, we'll come back and fix it, but I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, you young man, need to go to bed. No, don't nap. Go to sleep. There we go. So if you click that, if you click their need here once and they don't do what you want, you can click it again and sometimes it'll give you what you want. Alright, so you, young lady, are playing with your magic. That's good. Alright, inspect the mysterious door. Oh, can we turn this lady into a frog? <laughs> Totification. There we go. Something we wanted to do anyway. So we're not quite halfway. Oh, and these are sprites. They're little, like, creatures that you can play with and you have to keep them happy. I think they're sort of like, they sort of remind me of, um, oh, what were those? Tamagotchis? <laughs> I think that's sort of what they're supposed to be. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, I'm going to have her 
just fly out to the wasteland and we're just gonna see if we can find this door that they're talking about. Maybe you just can't see it from up here. So I'm just gonna have her go here and fly here. And it'll just take her a second. And then we'll just explore and see what we can find. Oh, what is this? Crash site. Oh, maybe it's at the crash site. Okay, so her advanced technology skill is level three. This area is huge. It doesn't look that big, but it's actually big. Okay, so her knowledge of advanced technology has granted her the f whatever for the hollow disk. Program sphere of des destiny recipe on the food. Okay, what? Program sphere of destiny recipe of the f on the food synthesizer and additional dream pod dreams. All right, whatever. Maybe that's where the mysterious door is. And then you can see we've got these mysterious plants out here. Okay, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> it's at the crash site. I forgot that. I'm not brave enough to do something like this in real life. <laughs> if I saw something like this, I'd be like, uh, you can go down there. Evacuate a debris pile. All right. So I'll let somebody else go down there. Do we need a key? Is that what it's telling us? Okay. These are evacuate um, dig sites where you can find things. And then we'll come over here and... Whoops. These plants do different things. I, don't, I haven't spent much time with them either, so I don't even want to say what they do because I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we find in here. It's cool because you can see the plants at night because they light up. That's pretty cool. Crystal plant. I think you can plant them back home, but like again, don't quote me on that because it's been a long time since I've like, oh, here's something over here. Catch that, whatever it is. Oh, it's a nanite of some sort. Um, I don't know that much about the nanites either. I know some of them only come out at night from what I have heard. But again, don't quote me on that. Mysterious Fragment 3. All right, let's go over. Okay, speak with the time traveler. Well, we will. Maybe he's going to give us the key to that hickey thing. Hickey head thing. Got my hands dirty enough for one lifetime. Thank you for evacuating the debris pile. Yeah, this area out here is huge. But you can find nanites and plants and then you can go sell them. So if you are not rich like we are and you need money. Ooh, here's another one. Catch that. Catch that. They're easy to find at night, that's for sure. Ooh, those look like bugs. So we could uh, use these. You use the nanites when you're building your own robots or plumbot, I guess. And also when uh, you want to sell them, sell the stuff. Oops. But you can also invent the nanites at the robot inventing machine thingy. I wanted to grab these, but I was having trouble. Because I think at night it's easiest to find. Yeah, I obviously don't know very much about this expansion pack. Just from what I've seen really on other people's Let's Plays and the little tiny bit of playing I've done with it. Oh, some of them are worth a lot. Whoa, that one's... 75. Hmm. We'll just have her get a couple more of these and then we'll have her, have her check in with the time travel. He's probably going to give her a key and have her come back over here. I hope we're not going to run to see him. I hope we're going to fly to see him. I don't want to do things the slow way.
triple nanite. Okay, where is he? Do we even know where he is? Ah, oh, here he is. Okay, so stop for a second. Oops. Uh, let's see. Let's tell her to fly here. And then we'll have her check in, and then it'll be faster. Alright, now check in with the time traveler. Oh, and I forgot she could take care of her needs with her witchcraft. I didn't have, have to have her go to the bathroom. She could have just done the bladder spell. Silly, silly me. She is getting tired, though. What's he up to? He's sleeping. But, I mean, we could sleep here at the public lot if we want to. Alright, where is he? Speed up, lady. Send a love letter to Malcolm. Travel to the present. No, we're not going to do that anytime soon. Come on, sheesh. You are slow. I'm glad you know where he is. I have no idea where he is. Oh, she fell. <laughs> I heard her. Oh, there he is. He's about to go to bed. Ooh, we could take this uh, hoverboard thing, too. So instead of having to buy one, we could just take it. Okay, check in with the time traveler. Where is he? Yeah, they have the all-in-ones in here. Oh my gosh, where is he? Is he in the bathroom? <laughs> here, come put this in your inventory. Can we not do that? Oh, I guess we can't. Dude, you are getting on my nerves. Where are you? Alright, I don't know where he is, so we're going to go sleep. Where are we? Okay, where's my sim? <laughs> is she invisible? That's not part of traveling to the future. Yeah, she's invisible for whatever reason. Oh, there she is. Okay, go to bed. Sleep. Why are you not doing what I'm telling you? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Do we have any potions? <laughs> Let's see. Essence of magic. We can't do any... Can't create any potions or buy any potions while we're here. Should have thought about that. Oh, we have hoverboards. He gave them to us. Okay. Let's give one to our hubby. I didn't notice he gave those to us at first. Okay, why did that not work? Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because this game is driving me crazy. When we come back, we will check in with the time traveler and see if we can get a key to explore... Also, in the next episode, I think I want to uh, go maybe build a robot. So I will see you in the next episode. I hope you're enjoying this. Have a great day. Keep on simming. Bye.